if you are a people pleaser then this video is for you i'm going to share with you five steps of stopping to be a people pleaser but before that if you are new to this channel subscribe hit the bell icon and make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you like this video hi my name is dr meghna dikshit and in the last 25 years of my journey of helping people overcome their challenges i have seen a lot of people walking into my office those who had the tendencies of pe- pleasing people and people pleasing is not really a problem and it was not for any one of them the real issue was coming from their own self worth you please people to get approval because you deep down feel that there is something wrong with you there is something not really acceptable about you and this comes from the space of while we are growing up what happens is think about this when a baby is born into this world for the first few years of the baby's life this this child is practically you know dependent on the people around them so your parents your grandparents the teachers and you know all the adults and elders in our life practically control these babies like what you're going to eat what you're going to see what you're going to you know experience everything is controlled by other people now at a very young age the baby realizes that if i have to survive into this world into the environment that i am born in i must seek approval from this ad- adults in my life from the people those who are around me and the baby is born with no uh, you know conditioning particularly but when you are it you come into the world and when you see people and you see the dynamics between different people and you realize that you know you have to be in this environment you have to survive and not just survive but you have to thrive in this environment you must make sure that these people approve of your presence now what happens is this this conditioning comes from the millions of years that the human evolution has happened about 2.5 millions of years back when the humans developed language and humans started living in communities and tribes a leader was decided by the physical power and its prowess to take care of multiple things so what used to happen is uh, if you are someone who's not accepted by the leader or you have some problem with the leader you know you had to get in the duel with the leader and if there is a problem and you know if you 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 get defeated you would get ostracized so basically in the communities in the in the tribes approval of the leader was very very critical for us to survive same thing now is you know replicated into the families now if you look at the family is like a small tribe and in this family when you are born you clearly have demarcated roles and you know who's the leader whom should you follow what should you listen to and whom should you listen to things like that at a very young age you start adapting from these millions of years of conditioning now in your case what is happening is that whatever you experienced as a baby and the leader that you took in your life the role model or your parents whoever was there so it was very clear in your space that their approval mattered to you and look when you were growing up and when you didn't like something and you either kind of rebelled about it or you just kind of didn't say anything but you do didn't do things like you became a passive aggressive person whatever you did you if you were if you tried going against your parents if you tried going against your grandparents if you tried going against your teachers you were reprimanded and this this punishment or this whole thing of not you know accepted for you expressing your views or opinions or going against the adults in the family actually ingrained in your brain that you must seek approval because for you it's a issue of survival now back then in millions of years back it was a physical survival issue today the survival issue has become the emotional survival to stay safe to stay comfortable in in your space you need this approval from people and some people go a little far uh, you know in the terms of pleasing these people because their own self worth is somehow damaged some people have gone through some sort of a maltreatment at the young age and because of that they don't feel their self image their confidence is broken or shaken and that's the reason you're pleasing somebody if this resonate with you type pp in the chat box if you are someone who's a people's pleaser because you want to seek approval from your boss you want to seek approval 
from your spouse you want to seek approval from your in-laws or parents or society in general if you're someone who resonates with this type pp in the chat box and let me know now these are the 10 signs maybe you are a people pleaser if you don't really understand uh, are you falling into this category then just look at these 10 signs if this resonates with you the first sign that you may be a people pleaser is you agree with everyone in the room for you to say that you do not agree or for you to voice out your opinion and say this is not okay with you or this is not the right thing to do you feel fearful so you agree with everybody the second sign that you may be a people pleaser is you apologize very often now you know it's okay to apologize it's right thing to do when it is you know when you are at a you know in a place where you have made a mistake but you if you are someone who's all the time apologizing to for no reason or for something that is you have not done then maybe there is a possibility that you are a people pleaser if you are someone who's all the time feeling responsible for how other people feel you are in a relationship you are in a conflict you are in a situation where other people are feeling a certain way and that makes you so uncomfortable that you start turning it around yourself start blaming yourself start shaming yourself and start saying that it is because of you so this is a clear cut sign that you are a people pleaser if you are someone who cannot see other people being uncomfortable if they are uncomfortable you are going to make you know things okay you want to make things fine you want to just make sure that you know everything is okay in the room you 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 can't stand somebody being uncomfortable you can't say no every time you want to say no there's this panic inside you and you somehow end up saying yes even though you know there is so much happening in your life and you can't really do this but saying no is you have never learned because saying no means in your space is rejection if you are someone who is burdened or overwhelmed by the things that you already have on your plate and still you keep taking the things because somewhere deep down you you cannot acknowledge how you feel if you are someone who cannot acknowledge your own negative feelings if you want to tell somebody or if you want to tell yourself if you want to express this that you are not okay you are not feeling good you are not going to be okay expressing that because when you express that you're not feeling good or you're not okay that means you feel that somebody else may not like it you not being okay now these are clear cut signs of you being a people pleaser and if any of this resonates with you let me know which is your behavior typically that you observe and that is a behavior that could be possibly causing a lot of problems in your life let me know that behavior in the chat box and if you have not yet shared this video with your 10 friends then just do that right now because you know what this world needs better people and you need to have better friends because everybody around us reflects who we are so if you're someone who's going through something like this let's see how many other people are going through something like this so just make sure that you share this video with 10 people at least to see if they fall into this category some other signs that you're a people pleaser could be you act like other people around you every time you are in a different setting suppose you meet a certain set, a set of friends you become like them you are in an organization you become like your colleagues you don't have your personal identity you just become a permeable membrane where you start accepting everybody who and you become like them for you it's difficult to share and express that your feelings are hurt you keep your hurt feelings to yourself because you know deep down you feel that if you acknowledge that you're hurt it will create conflict and it will create issues you are someone who is constantly avoiding conflicts and to avoid conflicts you can go to any length to make sure that things are okay all it means is even if you have to take all the blame on yourself or just not say anything just keep a keep mum you will do that because you don't like conflicts now let me take you through the five steps of you stop being a people pleaser now the first step for you is to set boundaries as i said earlier that you may have issues saying no or you may have issues in 
you know bringing up the conflict or getting into an argument now when you don't do that you be, you just become a pushover everybody takes you for granted and they just walk over you they do whatever they want to do because you know they know that you are you know never going to say anything so the first thing is about setting up your boundaries and every human being needs those healthy boundaries as much as you want to be kind and loving and want to help more people it comes at the cost of your own life as well so you know in just like in aeroplane the air hostess says that the first you know put your own mask same way in life for you to give more to people to be more kind to be more loving and to to you know give generally more in the world you got to first secure your own mask and that starts with setting up your healthy boundaries everyone has their own space and that space has to be you know respected now how do you do that i i know that it's going to be very difficult for some of you and you're going to ask me this question again and again but how to set the boundaries how do i set the boundaries now it's you know what i know something big you cannot do at this moment because that itself makes you feel that oh my god it's it's something which is impossible task and you will just refrain from it so how about taking a small step towards setting the boundaries how about telling your boss how about you're telling your family members that you're only available for so and so time you're not saying no to the work you're going to take care of that work because saying no is difficult for you so you may take care of the work but you just tell them that you know what you are available between this and this time and if it's okay uh, maybe you can just go and do it so just start setting those small little things not the big one the small steps towards you know saying no to people the second one is taking small steps now how do you start taking small steps to say no now if you are in front of a person maybe it's difficult for you to say no right in front of them physical in their physical presence so then how about saying no over a text or a email and not just saying no but you know just simply you know saying in terms of okay i am okay to do this but not at this time or not in this moment i am not able to fulfill your this wish because i don't have time or maybe you know not even giving the justification maybe but just you know understanding that no itself is a full stop and it's a full sentence so rather than giving the justification so rather than explaining yourself too much just simply you know stating the facts that you are not available or you can't do it at this time now when you take a small step and say that you can't do it at this time it it takes away the pressure of you're never going to do it for you so that takes care of you feeling oh my god how do i say no you're just taking one step that today i can't do this this time i can't do it that's it and then you will look at the next time again the third step set goals and priorities a lot of times you are a people pleaser or you are at the beck and call of somebody else is because you have no goals or you have no priorities when you you know set your own goals and when you follow them and when you set your priorities and setting goal means in every area your personal development your health your relationships your career your money even if you are a homemaker a lot of homemakers will come up with this a whole question here right now that you know how do i set the goals i am a, i'm a homemaker i don't have work well you you probably don't go out for work but you do have work this is a category of people those who are taken for granted the most because you don't go out and they are you are taken for granted the most because you are allowing it to happen so you got to set your goals for yourself your exercise routine your diet routine your personal development routine you may be learning something new skill or something something i mean you have to start setting up those goals and priorities whatever age you are at because when you have the goals and priorities you are engaged in them and you have less time to engage in people pleasing the fourth step stall for time that means if someone gives you the work and you cannot say no but before saying the yes there's a there's a window there that you can actually say can i buy some time can i think about this can i come back to you later on so rather than saying yes or no you're taking a mid middle route where you are actually telling them that you're going to take some time to answer the question 
and that itself will give you some time to mull over it to think about it and then come up with your answer so rather than straight forward saying yes to everything now you have a buffer to weigh your pros and cons and then answer the last step for you is stop making excuses stop making excuses for yourself you are clearly pleasing people because there is something inside you which is not okay you are an adult and if you are seeking for approval and constant appreciation because that makes you feel good you don't internally feel good every time when somebody tells you that you're a really good person or you're really doing this good or you're helping me so much so you're amazing if you want if you want to listen to all the time people's appreciation then that makes you feel good it's a high time that you work on your self worth your self image your self esteem seek help from a professional go into therapy it's not a taboo it's a great thing to do you'll do a great justice to yourself and your potential when you start working on yourself it's the best investment of your time and your money when you start working on your self worth because that's where everything begins you want to be successful you want to be getting more respect you want to have a better identity better lifestyle and better status in this world work on your self worth what you deserve is what you feel internally So how about starting to feel good about yourself first? Stop seeking appreciation and approvals from everybody and everything. Start working on yourself, stop making excuses and you see day by day you'll only start feeling more and more confident and you will stop pleasing people because it won't matter if someone rejects you, if someone doesn't like you. Since you like yourself, since you love yourself little more every single day, you'll stop feeling rejected by other people and these are my five simple steps do this every single day and that will change your life so which one are you going to start immediately let me know in the comment section which is your favorite step here mine is to work on myself every single day let me know which one is yours do not forget to subscribe hit the bell icon share it with at least 10 people if you care for other people that you do for sure and i'll see you soon